So here we go, professional debut of the hugely popular A. Mike Chiani. He's, he's packed a half of York himself. Yeah, he's sold a few tickets tonight. It's extremely noisy and boisterous. I don't know if it's coming across on the camera, but it's very, very loud. A. Mike takes on Jordan Granham, road warrior, very experienced, very experienced journeyman. He's no pushover, Granham, is he? No pushover, really, really good amateur. Jordan. So it'll be interesting in yeah. Piani straight across the ring to meet him in the middle. Amy Carney was top amateur himself, uh, won the Class B's, won the Home Counties Elite, quarter, got to the quarterfinals of the ABAs, and he also beat Denzel Bentley as an amateur at the moment. He's knocking everyone out of the pro, so good, good, good way Denzel Bentley yeah. as a pro. Certainly made that transition. He started well, Piani here, just coming across, just having a little look. Nice fast feet he's showing. Little jab popped out from Granham there. A good variation there from Keanu, just looking for the head and the body there with the jab, just having a little look. Yeah, he's nice and relaxed, popping the jab out well. Yeah, there must be some pressure on him with the, obviously the tickets he sold, there's yeah, big we, expectations on him. If you've got over 300 people here to support you, it's going it's to add a lot of pressure. Yeah, he seems to have settled well though, he doesn't show any nerves. Settled quite well, looking to you know pop that jab out and build off of that jab. Right hand round, just looking for that right hook to the body. Great body work there from Keanu again. Yeah, it's good. Graham's nice and tight with the elbows, so it's got to be a good shot to try and get round them elbows, but he's having a little look. Graham has quick hands himself, so Keanu's got to stay switched on throughout this fight. Yeah, Graham's got good feet as well, so it's, uh, you know, like I said, like you said, he's no slouch. She knows his way there around the ring, Graham. But it's a good opener so far from Keanu. It doesn't seem to be any pressure from the crowd. Seems to have settled quite well. Not going at a blistering pace, but, you know, a decent enough pace to be comfortable in the round so far. He's used that right hook a little bit times, Josh. He's used it to the body effectively and just used it to the head there. It looks like a favourite shot of his. It's not, it's not, most people don't tend to throw it, do they? But it's working well from Keanu so far. Yeah, it's good. It's, Graham's catching most of it on the gloves, but he's still, he's still trying to look for that gap, Keanu. So it's nice. It's a good, it's a good shot he's, uh, he's trying to throw. And it's good variation sometimes from a debut. You see people only throw the one, two as it could be thing. But Keanu's tried the hooks, he's tried the uppercuts. He's, very between head and body. It's a good, uh, good opening round for him so far. Yeah, he's done it start to finish. Granham hasn't really had a look in so far, apart from, the odd, apart from the odd jab. And he's carrying his hands low, Keanu, switching from South Port to Orthodox. But I don't mind if a fighter drops his hands so long as he moves his head. And he's got fairly good lateral movement. He's moving his head off centre. It's a nice shot from Keanu, right hook and a left, left uppercut up the middle. I'm not sure how much you're getting through cleanly because Granham's 
experience, but yeah, it's, it's hard defense. Well, you've got if, if to get any success against Granham, do you think he's got to go to the body, bring jumping hands down? Yeah, I think so. It's um, that Granham's quite tight all the way around, but you've got to show variation to try and get through to, to Granham, and that's what Keane's done well so far in that opening round. Really, really good opening round from him. So round two of a scheduled four, the debut of the hugely popular A. Marchiani. He takes on Jordan Granham over the four rounds. It's been a good opening from Amar. Or is it Emmy? Amar? Uh, it's Amar, I believe. Amar. Kiani on the first round. What would you like to see Kiani do in the second round, Josh? Obviously, good opener, show good variation. What would you like to see him in the second round? I don't think there's too much I think you want to see change. I think maybe work the body slightly more. I think Graham's hands are so tight to his head, it always stuck down. I think the only way to get an assess the head is by chopping down from his stomach. He's switching from orthodox to southpaw quite well. He looks quite comfortable in both in both you know, orthodox and southpaw. I think he looks a little bit more comfortable in orthodox, but mm. you know his balance is quite good. That's the thing you tend to notice when people switch southpaw is their balance tends not to be as good in the other way. But good variation there, going from the the head down to the body. I think he's just trying to draw, uh, draw Granham into a counter, isn't he? But Granham's not falling for it, he's just staying there tight. Yeah, and it's what you've got to do against Granham. Granham's tight, so you've got to switch the angles. Nice counter there, left hand from Piani. That was a good shot there, really good. Yes. He's just having a little look underneath there. You can see Piani just having a little duck down, just have a look at the gaps and switching back to orthodox. Good fast hands. Graham come back with a couple of jabs of his own now. But again, that right hook again we talked about in the first round, Josh. Just trying to land it there as he swings it around the left glove of Graham. And good body work at the end there. Yeah, he's, he's really up his work rate in the second round. He's obviously came out the first to feel him out, but he's really showing his class now. I think you're right. He does get success. When he switches from the body to the head, he has been... The body shots after he's gone upstairs do seem to get in. Once he's gone up and then he comes down, he tends to be able to get them hooks in a little bit better. Just like this, so you'd like to see a couple up the top and then just obviously drop down and just drop that right hook to the body. He starts to go head hunting a bit more. You'd like to see it, as we said, drop down again. Yeah, lovely right hook to the body. Uh, That's it there. Again. He started with a right hook to the head, through the left uppercut, and then come back around the left hook to the body. So it's good variation. It's a really, really good yeah. debut so far. He's mixing it well with body to head, isn't he, when he does it? Yeah, that's what you want to see. You want to see variation from these young lads. And and you know, it gives them options. It, you know, if they can work the body, work the head. Sometimes, see with the novice pros, they just go a little bit head hunting too much. But you know, he has shown variations. He's looking to get the body in, looking to get the shots up the middle. Yeah, we're talking off camera. Do you think um, Jordan Granham looks a lot bigger than Amar Kiani? Yeah, you can see the size difference now. I mean, I think Kiani could go down a weight division. Um, you know, Granham looks a naturally bigger man. Although it's not the size advantage isn't isn't helping Granham at all in the fight, but. Yeah, I definitely think he could he could certainly go down the weight because just if you look at naturally, Grenham's that bit bigger than him. Yeah, Keone's definitely got this, all the skills needed to go be a very successful pro. And the speed, it was a good uppercut there, but Grenham come back with a left hook of his own at the end there. There we say, start of the third round. Just at the end of that round, Josh, there's a left hook from Granham. Just caught Keanu, just seemed to sort of wake him up a little bit. I'm not sure if it hurt him. Or I think uh, just uh, Keanu's getting a tad over confident. I think uh, Granham's going to make him think more careful about that now, isn't he? Yeah, and, and that, that can happen when it, you know, you're getting it all your own way. And there's been a good day from him so times. You can get a little bit excited, but the left hook at the end there just uh, you know, brought Keanu back, just brought his concentration back. Because as we know, one shot can you know, change a fight. Keanu's dropped down to the body again. He's head hunted so far. This oh, great right hand by Granham there. He took it well, Keanu. Yeah, just going to be careful. We, we mentioned earlier on in the first round that you know if you're going to be a boxer that keeps your hand low, you've got to move your head. And 
He didn't move his head there and Granham was able to throw that, throw the jab, move his feet in behind and then throw the right hand down. Just caught Keani there. Pace has slowed a little bit from Keani this round. Not quite so much, maybe that second round he yeah, put a lot in. He's really it. stepped up from the first. So. But he's, he's still he's boxing really well. Still winning the round, still being you know, busy. Oh, lovely, that's, 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 that's a lovely combination there. When he lets his hands go, he really shows the class he's got. The, the shot I like that he throws is the left uppercut. It's quite a difficult shot to throw to get it up the middle, but he's thrown it a couple of times. They've good success of it. We actually see Brad Pauls use the left uppercut quite well last night down in Plymouth against his southern area defence against Robbie Chapman, but you don't see it very often, as, not as often as I'd like, but he, he uses it well. Great support here for Keani. He's not letting it get carried away. He's keeping the boxing nice and sensible, which is a smart thing to do. It's a real mature performance from him. In a, in a professional debut, as we know, just we've, we've seen lots of kids make their debut and nervous energy comes in and the pressure and, and that. But he's, he's handled it really well. It's a mature performance. He's shown great variation and he's, you know, dominating every round so far. Of course, a little bit you'd like to see tightened up over, over time and I'm sure that will come. So decent amateur and against Granham obviously we've mentioned before was a great amateur as well. Nice left hook there from Granham, just falling short, Keanu good showing good feet. Do you think Keanu's doing the right thing switching south or to look for different angles? Or do you yeah. obviously box out the orthodox style? Oh, I, I think he's getting success in, in, in both in both ways and if he's comfortable doing it. I, I don't have too much of a problem with uh, boxers switching if, if they are able to do it. What tends to happen is People try to do it and, and can't do it. So it's, uh, but he seems to be switching quite well. He seems balanced in both. So uh, I think it's working for him. Granham's shown a bit more, a bit, a bit, sorry, he's been a bit more adventurous this, yeah, towards the end of this round, isn't he? As we said, because the, the, the pace has slowed a little bit, it's actually benefited Granham. Granham's getting a little bit more time to walk Kiani down and uh, the slower pace, the slower pace, Helped Gren on that round, but still a Keani round for me. Yeah, agreed. So here we are, fourth and final round, the professional debut. A Marciani brought huge support here. Me and Josh have got him ahead. We've got him every round so far, showing good variation. Can he keep it together in the last round? I believe so. He hasn't shown any reason we won't be able to. He's come out of this round, box behind the jab very nicely. Yeah, it's been a good performance for him. As we said, it's very immature. I definitely think we've seen a potential future star here tonight. He's got like, all the tools. Yeah, I do think he could go down a weight division. And uh, as we talked about before, it's that old, obviously he'll know how he's making the weight and how he can't draw feels, but you know you do start to see that when they start off. They start a little bit higher and, and obviously get used to making the weight in the pros and then go from there. So it's been very solid for him. I like it. He looks like I said we said before, he looks comfortable in both Southpaw and Orthodox. Likes to crouch low and just look to sweep that right hand up there. Yeah, very orthodox shot that. Uh, not a lot of boxers like being on the receiving end of that. No, it's a good shot. So it's good, good variation. It's good from Keanu. So he's been very settled. The first round was very nice. The second round, the pace was electric. Oh, and a good double left hook there from Granham. Just it caught it. Just caught Keanu. Just got to be careful on the inside. They just got to be a little bit tight of his hands, Keanu. I mean, Keanu a few times this fight switched off, hasn't he? I mean, that's one of the big things he's got to take away from this fight is no matter who you're fighting, how the fight's going, you've got to stay switched on. You've got to take big shots. Yeah, 100%. Obviously, it only takes one, one shot to to change the fight. He's just got to be a little bit tighter on the inside, Connie. He's great at this distance when he's nice and loose and he's got the space to move into. But when Granham gets close, he's just got to make himself that little bit smaller and just keep his hands a little bit tighter. Looks like Granham's going for him this round. He's not letting him very busy. He's walking him down. And so I think Granham's worked out. Granham's worked out that he can get a bit closer to him and make him work. I think it, Granham knows on the outside that Kiani's going to... Uh, you know, give him a few troubles, but he gets that little bit closer. But Grenham's showing a bit of bit of fight this round, working the body himself, Grenham. Certainly asked a few more questions this round, Grenham, the last round. Come on, he's good, going strong, though. He's, he's really retaliating the uppercuts as yeah, he's walking it's in. Good. It's a nice uppercut, uppercut back from Grenham himself. Certainly giving Keani more to think about in this round. He's having to think and, and work a little bit harder. And this is where Kayani needs to be. In this distance here, 
if he gets that little bit closer and allows Graham to walk him down, Graham's getting some success. But from this distance, where he's got space, like I say, space to move, space to drop into, then he's been relatively comfortable so far. Oh, lovely overhand right there from Keon. He just slipped the jab, popped it over, landed beautifully on the chin. And that's what we were saying, Josh, at that range, he's got that. He's got quick hands, he's got good reactions, Keone. That's where he needs to be. He just needs to tighten, like I said, just tighten up a little bit when he's close and gets walked down. But I say, for a first, first you know, for a professional debut, I think it's been an excellent, mature performance. I think he went to the body a few times early in this round when Graham was walking him down and he seemed to take out the game. It's a great boxing there. Yeah, excellent fight, excellent fight. We, we've got... Behind every round, but a really, really good fight and the start of something special potentially.